Huh? What do you want? Hear about the notice. Got monster trouble? Trouble? <laughs> Good one. We're not having trouble. We're up shit fucking creek. Some shaggy fuck knows what sitting in the woods attacking every plow and transport that dares take the high road. When he ran to bolts, arrows, rations, all around, fucked. Send a patrol out. Looks never came back. Huh? What the fuck? Come on. Where did you come from? Twelve years in the past, here these parents. He who sets them, not me. Who decided? choice. Mortem. Look like claw marks, but here, an arrow. Shafts broken off right at the skin. Looted bear. Either someone stole the cargo after the monster attack, or our monster collects military paraphernalia. Footprints. A survivor? Either that or the monster's a humanoid. Something's fishy here. I should follow these tracks. some. One step more, and you'll gain a new hole in your head, Dwan. What do you seek here? Speak! Need to talk to your commander. It's important. I don't trust you. Figured as much when I saw your bow aimed at me. Still have me in your sight. And I'm just not prone to doing stupid things. I can assure you of that. I'll be assured when you hand me your weapons. Come on, your swords. Drop them, and I'll take you to Venosio. Fine. Lead the way. That gun. Strange. No monsters trouble us. Might not trouble you, 
But the Redanians are convinced something prowls these woods. Hired me to kill it. Well, they're mistaken. It's not the first time. There's no monster here. Your work is done. This isn't a game. Men have died. Soldiers have died. Radovid's soldiers, serving the man who torments the Enshe from the Great Sea to the Blue Mountains. Soldiers who joined in massacres, tortured our brothers, raped our sisters, and will not stop attacking those transports. We must eat, same as you, so you have a choice. Do what you will. I'm not a Give him his things. You're back, finally. Did you get the beast? There's no beast in the... Sky, you tell, you say. Elves aren't monsters, so no. But I won't. Ha! <laughs> of course you won't. A good non-human's a dead non-human. For you know neither the the grave nor the hour. The Hynarius snowbird. It's a beastly madman. It passes a beastly human Interest you in a past. But what? Witcher. No passing. Because? Because King Radovid said it should be. Won't let anyone through who don't have a pass. Perfect. Just so happens I have a pass. What? Let me see. Doesn't seem forged. You never know. All right, move on. Ah! In a hurry. Come through. Honor in the fatherland.
Rodfiend's nest needs to be destroyed.
blow this up if I want to get rid of the Endrigas. up if I want to get rid of the Endrigas. What's going on here? Why isn't anyone putting that out? We want it to burn. Got it? Piss off, or we'll fry you along with a fucking elf! There's a third way out of this situation. this about? Why'd they want to burn you alive? They came to rob me. I refused to betray where I keep my valuables, so they brought in a cart full of firewood, barred me inside, and set fire to the thing. Probably counting on you being swayed, though I doubt they would have let you live even if you'd talked. I've yet to thank you for your aid, Vatgern. 
My coin lies concealed in a hollowed out stump behind the house. Take what you wish. It's dangerous to possess two. Thank you. Surface here, dig their way out.
no choice.
puppies got their nest here. Come on. Faster. Looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex send you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My... Yeah, to see if you're still alive, and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. 
You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I've... Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my... That... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I... I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her. She fell. That's how it started. We were alone. No one to help. Blood everywhere. Sorry. Must have been hard for you, but... Mum was in shock. She was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. She must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seat. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> A witcher? Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> so the Baron hired a witcher to find his daughter. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The Eternal Fire is- In that case. Good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Long live ex fuck. Greetings! My, my, a witcher. Something tells me. Sure doesn't look like you're sure. So, this. Look into. Of course. Still talk. Aye. Show me where you.
stomach and belly. Stop in pain here. Under me belt since yesterday. I propose hypericum perforatum. Known also as boring. boring as fucking shit. See the hollyhock there, the violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Diamo. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she alright? In good health, safe. Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? She's not coming back, period. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to return to a home like this either. Ah, horse bugger, you blind. I know what you've... I've not been a good father, I know. Can always try. Wouldn't count on succeeding, though. I've nothing. Very well. You were to... Nothing yet. But I'm honored. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Hi. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword. <laughs> well, you brandished it. Mm. A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. A w Let's say I go about my business. And when there's coin to be earned, I don't read... I've always held with the world how it is today. Lasses ought to know how... All right. A w Perhaps... Think you... Black men... Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman? 
The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. <laughs> oh, that would be... Would it? Done. Agreed. But not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. I don't. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. Wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? <laughs> Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break it. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. Uh-oh. You're a fast learner. Working on it. And my... They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. So long. Hair of the hound. Got any vodka? Went to the village for the levy, and that one hard banged a lass to the blood of the Baron. Help me, Ed. To puke or not to puke, that is the... <coughs> Fancy a gander at our little... Show me what... Thank <laughs> you. 